Hello and welcome to my A to Z general knowledge and trivia quiz. There are 26 questions. The answer to number one will begin with the letter A. The answer to number two will begin with letter B. Down to 26, which will begin with the letter Z. And just for a little bit of fun this week, challenge yourselves and see if you can beat 19. So I do hope you enjoy and best of luck. Beginning with A, what is a medical term for hair loss? The answer is alopecia. Beginning with B, which US state capital is named after a famous German statesman who is credited with the creation of the German Empire? Well done if you said Bismarck. Beginning with C, which lightweight fabric associated with elegance and luxury shares its name with a cake? That is chiffon. Beginning with D, Alfred Nobel, the founder of the Nobel Peace Prize, is best known for inventing what? He invented dynamite. Beginning with E, the final countdown was a 1986 hit song for which Swedish band? sung by Europe. Beginning with F, the name of which Spanish dance appears in the lyrics of the Queen song Bohemian Rhapsody? And well done if you remembered it in time, the answer is Fandango. Beginning with G, first airing in 2005, the title of which medical drama TV series got its name from a reference book of human anatomy first published in 1858? The answer is Grey's Anatomy. Beginning with H, in ancient Greek religion and mythology, who was a god and personification of the sun? That was Helios. Beginning with I, if you were at Point Nemo in the Pacific Ocean, where would you find your nearest human neighbours? And think outside the box with this one. Excellent job if you said the International Space Station. Beginning with J, which 1993 film had the tagline 65 million years in the making? film was Jurassic Park. Beginning with K, which British clothing company, famous for its headwear, has an image of a kangaroo for their logo? The company is Kangol. Beginning with L, the goblin battle and as the world falls down are songs from which 1986 fantasy musical film? They were in the labyrinth. Beginning with M, skin colour is due primarily to the presence of a pigment called what? It's called melanin. Beginning with N, which Canadian province shares its name with two breeds of dog? Very well done if you said Newfoundland and Labrador. Beginning with O, what is the surname of twin actresses Mary-Kate and Ashley? That is Olsen. Beginning with P, which prehistoric creature's name comes from the ancient Greek for winged finger?
And very well done if you said pterodactyl. Beginning with Q, which 1979 film is loosely based on The Who's 1973 rock opera of the same name? Quadrophenia. Beginning with R, fictional character Dick Grayson is better known by what name? He's better known as Robin from Batman and Robin. Beginning with S, an increase in salt content, usually of agricultural soils, irrigation water or drinking water is called what? The answer I was looking for is salinization. Beginning with T, Dodoma is the capital of which African country? Tricky one, this one. Well done if you said Tanzania. Beginning with U, which novel by James Joyce has long been regarded as one of the greatest novels ever written? The answer is Ulysses. Beginning with V, there are three major gods in the Hindu religion. Brahma and Shiva are two. Name the third. Brahma, Shiva and Vishnu. Beginning with W, Yul Brynner played the gunslinger in which 1973 sci-fi western film? film is Westworld. Beginning with X, how would you write the number 24 in Roman numerals? You would write XXIV. Beginning with Y, with similarities to Pokemon, which collectible trading card game developed and published by Konami is based on a Japanese manga series. One for the younger players this one, the answer is Yu-Gi-Oh! And the last one beginning with Z, which six letter word is the point at which the sun or moon is directly above you and seems to be at its highest. And well done if you said Zenith. Now for a bonus question, just a bit of fun. The answer to this will begin with a number. In which year was the world's first text message sent? And you can be one year above or below with your guess. If you think you know it, tell me in the comments below. So that's the end of the quiz. Uh, thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please click the like button and to subscribe, please click on the logo. Have a lovely day. Thank you again and bye bye.